All righty. Hello, everyone. I'm sorry. I have to kind of go this way. <laughs> this is the camera right here. I'm so sorry. It's a little, little skewed. I'll just stand right here. Uh, hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome on in. Actually, if I can, I'm a professional Zoom teacher. I promise. There we go. That's better. Okay. Hello. Ooh, hi. <laughs> That's me, professional Zoom teacher. How is everyone today? Happy Saturday. Hello, hello. Um, Did you all get a chance to look at the questions that I sent early? I hope you did. All righty. Good, good. I hope you guys have some answers. Um, now, this is a cooking class, so I am going to be spending a lot of cooking and trying to talk to you guys, um, but I will pause and make sure to ask you guys the questions I gave you. Um, and again, one more time, your name. Please make sure your name in the chat is your name. So like we have a, there was a phone name, I believe. No, okay. So please make sure your name on in the chat is your name because I, I'm about to take a picture for attendance. So please, please, please. All right, real quick, let me take that picture. Say cheese. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> All righty, let me print that. Okay, print screen, perfect. No, all right, and let me put that on here. There we go. All right. Perfect, I look great. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get started. All right. Um, oh, I need this. Okay. I guess I don't get to hand that. Okay. All righty. So let's get started with the PowerPoint I have made for you. This is called Cheater's Lasagna. Cheater's Lasagna. Um, why is it called cheaters? Because it's fast. We are not making lasagna for 45 minutes, okay? Lasagna, as good as it is and as easy as it is, um, it takes too long, all right? You're tired, you want to make a good dinner, um, but you don't have an hour or two to make real, like, legit full lasagna so and this is called cheaters lasagna real quick in the chat who here has had lasagna and i mean like real italian lasagna who has had lasagna here you have good you cook for yourself nice i'm gonna do my best to not say names um because again, this will be on YouTube, so I don't want to say your full name. Alrighty. You're not Italian, but your boyfriend is Italian? Nice. Does he make lasagna? So he makes a lot of Italian dishes. Oh, lucky. You lucky, lucky. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Italians do better. I would think so. Do not show your boyfriend this video. <laughs> do not show your boyfriend what I'm about to do. All right. He might, <laughs> he might yell at the screen at me. <laughs> <laughs> you believe I'm a good chef? I mean, I try. I try. All right. So, so far we've had about three, three or four, three, three or four people answer. What about everyone else? Tell me, have you ever had lasagna? And you can say no. You can say no. That's fine. If you don't want to say anything too, that's okay as well. I don't mind. I know that sometimes especially in English, when you're learning a new language, it can be very nerve wracking. You know, we get very nervous when we are speaking another language. And so I just want you to know when it comes to language, you don't have to be perfect. All right. You don't. All right. Just do your best and try. And remember, everyone else here is also learning. So you haven't made lasagna yet? Well, 
this is the class for you. Alrighty, so my name is Professor Tara Rolodge. Only spaghetti? Totally fine. Uh, my name is Professor Tara Rolodge. You guys can call me Professor T. Are any of you in my classes this semester? Yeah, you are. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Okay, so. Oh, no, why aren't you? Uh, hello. Excuse me. Oh, no. Why? Why you do this to me? We are having technical difficulties. Okay, this has never happened to me before. So let's just go here. Okay, hi. This is going to be where we are at. I thought the PPT was actually going to go through. It is not. So uh, let me go ahead. I'm using OBS. It's the OBS system. So um, I'm going to go ahead and try it this way. Window capture device. OK. Um, and no, that's camera. What am I getting? Anyways, again, professional Zoom teacher. That's me. Ah, display capture. That's it. I haven't used OBS in a really long time, so. Okay, it's not working. Good, good, good. All right. You try to cook and also had it at a restaurant. Your technique. Look, <laughs> I haven't used OBS in a really long time. What's going on right now has never happened. So here's what I'm going to do. In the chat, I'm going to put go ahead and put the file of the PPT. Now, mind you, this is a really long PPT when you download it, but it's not long. OK, it's not. I promise. <laughs> it's only the first five or six slides. Um, but I use this program called SlidesGo. Um, I use this program called SlidesGo, and it's excellent. I love it so much. And you can get free PPTs that are already done. You like to eat lasagna, but never try to cook it. You want to learn? Yeah, you're in the right place today. OK, so let me go here then. Uh, and questions. Oh, oops, that's you guys. That's real small. All righty. So, um, all righty. So those of you who have tried lasagna, let's look at question one. Did you like it? <laughs> Did you like lasagna? Was it too much? Was it too filling? How was it? You love it? I love it. Anyway, so in the chat, I did put the PPT. If you want to look at it and follow along, I'm so sorry. It is not working on Zoom or on OBS. I don't know why. Again, has never happened before. All right. Usually I'll have my PPT on one screen like over here, and then I have you guys on this screen, and it has never not worked. Sorry. Also, if I am talking too fast, please tell me. I am from California, and in California, we talk really fast. Um, please, no video. No video, please. Um, and so, uh, thank you. Who's got their video? All right, so please, again, no video. No, no, what? what's going on? Um, Mr. or Miss Lee, please turn off your video. You live in California, nice to meet you, what's up? Hi, <laughs> California, um, okay. Hold on. Okay, alrighty. So again, one more time, no video, just listening and writing in the chat, please. Okay, so. Alrighty, so let's get started. So cheater lasagna, why cheater's lasagna? I'm on the second slide of the PPT. Um, why cheater's lasagna? Because this semester, all the recipes I make, I use, I only do cooking because you guys look at lectures all the time. That's with the other professors, lectures, things. 
I want to do cooking class because this is how I share my culture and I love to cook. So, um, so recipes this semester are all about easy, quick comfort foods that can be made for meals. Or if you are having guests over and you want to impress them, this is the semester. Comfort foods. Who knows what comfort foods are? What are comfort foods? <clears throat> Who can tell me what comfort foods are? Please tell me in the chat. Foods I usually eat at home, that can be one. <clears throat> For me, kimchi tige, health food. Good try, but it's not. But good try. So comfort food are foods that when you are really, really stressed or really sad, you're like, I need chocolate. And it makes you uh, feel warm. That's right. Very good. It makes you feel warm. It cheers you up. And for lasagna, because it is full of carbs, like mom's food. Yeah, healing food. Good. Um, like it's full of carbs. We got meat, cheese, grease vegetables, food related to memories, that can be too. Um, there's a word for that. We call that nostalgia, nostalgia food. Food that is nostalgia, nostalgic, remind you of your childhood or your mom's cook. You just ate some comfort food. Yeah. My comfort food is buritige. I love buritige. Um, po, the Vietnamese soup. I call it pho, chocolate, and chips. I love I love chips. Nostalgic. That's right. Okay. So what do we need? First, you need a pan. You need a pan and a spatula, of course, um, with a lid. I'll get my lid in a minute, but you have to have the top, the lid, um, and then cutting board, knife, all those kinds of things. Ingredients. First, tomato sauce. This is called Rao's homemade marinade. This is at Costco in Korea. Um, if you look at TikTok, YouTube videos about sp canned spaghetti sauce, homemade or canned spaghetti sauce, Rouse is the best. And it's at Costco. So that's amazing. Um, so of course that, of course, lasagna, lasagna noodles. I like olives. I love olives. I don't like olives. I love olives. Um, I like black olives. So I put that in there. Uh, we got some ricotta cheese, uh, an egg parsley oh and something I didn't put on there if you feel your cheese is too dry you can put some cream some cream or a little bit of milk so um and then for cheese I got some parmesan this was at Costco Costco has the um we call this the grated the grated cheese the ground up cheese or they have the thicker the thicker long pieces of grated cheese and then because I just love cheese, I have the Costco just shredded. Usually they use mozzarella shredded. I like cheddar too. Again, whoever it was with the Italian boyfriend, do not tell him. Do not show him <laughs> at all. And we're going to need some garlic. Not too many. And if you have a garlic... You have a garlic press. This is from Ikea. Um, you'll definitely need a garlic press and things like that. So real quick, let's move on to question two. What are some traditional dishes from your culture that are similar to lasagna in terms of layering? All right, you layer ingredients. So for you guys, if you are all Korean, maybe some of you are not, what are some, what's some Korean food that is all about layering? All right. Um, I'm going to get a little bit more garlic. You guys answer that. I'll be right back. And if you can't think of any, just say, I don't know. I don't know. I can't think of any. Lids. It's not a Korean dish, but as a pastry chef, you just say cake. Yeah, rice cake with layers. Nice. I can't think of any, but I can say maybe 
rainbow rice cake oh nice bosom maybe bosom um yeah that could be one what is that big soup that is like beef cabbage beef cabbage beef cabbage beef cabbage what is that not very Japanese no video please thank you I know okay anyways I'm spotlighted okay it's Japanese ah okay 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 I didn't know that I just saw it at Costco and it was we bought it me and my husband bought it and it was delicious Alrighty, so um spaghetti sauce oh water black olives and zali. ah so in the uh list of ingredients that I forgot to put for you guys ground beef all right you can do ground beef you can do pork or you can do half and half your choice um but I forgot to do that if you are making this with me if it's frozen it's okay you're gonna just cook it frozen not a big deal all right so let's go ahead and get started um okay Ooh, number three, as we start layering the lasagna, what do you think is the key to creating balanced layers of flavors and textures? All right, so how can we make this more balanced? Also trick with lasagna, or not lasagna, garlic, which I'm sure most of you, shabu shabu, it's not Korean. I know shabu shabu is not Korean. I love shabu shabu, I'll tell you what. Be careful when you do this with a knife. I'm just doing it to get it out of its shell. Or what I like to do is I like to get it under the cutting board. Another one to show you. I get it under a cutting board so I don't hurt my hand. No video, please. Thank you. Squish it that way. That way I'm not hurting my hands or risking my life with that knife. Alrighty, I'm just doing three cloves. These are pretty good size um, in combination of meat and vegetables. Yeah, quality ingredients, seasoning problem, seasoning. Seasoning is so important. Uh, quality, you know, sometimes putting love, yes. You put your heart and soul, heart, you put your heart into your dishes. Um, some people can't afford high quality ingredients. So that's why having like canned, just having canned tomato sauce, it's totally fine. Or um, if you go on the YouTube page, I made homemade marinara. Sometimes it's just easier and or not easier. Sometimes it's just cheaper to make it by hand. So if you want to find that video where I made marinara sauce, you can. Took me two, three hours. Yeah, well, it's supposed to. <laughs> it's supposed to. I'm not patient. OK, I'm not patient enough for two, three hours. Yeah, no, if you want to make tomato sauce like real tomato sauce, marinara sauce has anchovies, a little bit of fish in it, um, and it takes, you cook it for hours. Also, whoever has the Italian boyfriend, don't tell them, but I put sugar in mine. <laughs> because uh, tomatoes are, oh my gosh, this garlic, um, tomatoes are acidic. And so they have a good amount of acid and so sugar or cinnamon will cut, will lower the um, acidic taste. So if you do make it homemade, just a little bit of sugar, not, not a handful, like literally, we call it a pinch, a pinch of sugar, teeny tiny bit of cinnamon, you're good to go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, I don't know what this is called. This is a garlic press, and I'm going to do, this is called minced minced garlic I'm mincing the garlic um can you cut it by hand absolutely I'm not patient enough it takes too long and I just want to again this is all about being quick these are quick this is a quick easy dinner to be done as fast as possible you know I think many of you probably have children I don't have children but I don't have patience I want things done as fast as possible um, with the garlic mince, please use the back of the knife. Don't use the front. You're going to destroy your knife. Okay, that's done. Put that there. And then I'm going to do olives later. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start cooking my beef and cooking the garlic. You guys know what it looks like to cook beef and garlic. <laughs> so I'm not going to show you that yet. All right. 
So let me go ahead and get this started. Now, usually with my other videos, you've seen me have like a hot, a hot pan or a hot thing, not hot pan, um, hot plate. But you can just cook things on your kitchen table or whatever. It's too noisy. It's way too loud. So I am not using it this time. And then with your beef, make sure you cook your garlic and, um, what is it? Any vegetables. Some people like to put a lot of vegetables in their lasagna or their spaghetti. When I was a kid, I would put bell pepper and onion um, and all kinds of stuff. And so this is when you would do it. So what I'm doing now, I'm call it's called browning browning cooking browning the meat making sure it's brown now usually you don't want any pink or red because we're going to cook it in the sauce it's okay it's okay if it's a little pink or red all right next i'm going to go ahead and do my olives now how many of you love olives how many of you love olives because olives are my favorite thing in the whole world i love them you love olive, black and green? Mm -hmm. If you don't, totally fine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna call, I'm gonna quarter. So I cut in half and then I like, and then cut in half, cut in half, cut in half. You can quarter however way you want. I like to do it that way, especially olives on focaccia. Oh, yes, yes. When I was a kid going to my grandmother's house for Thanksgiving and Christmas, she always put out appetizers and always, 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 it was black olives and little dill pickles. Now in America, pickles, a lot of our pickles are salty. And so um, they're not sweet, except for one kind. We call them bread and butter pickles. Bread and butter pickles are sweet, but all other pickles are salty and tangy and oh, so delicious. But my grandmother as an appetizer, it was always, always olives and pickles there was never and now that's what i do <laughs> now that's what i do when people are waiting for me to finish cooking i just put out olives and pickles and it usually works out unless they don't like olives then why are we friends just kidding you don't have to like olives all righty oh let me mix that up Now I'm sure you know with ground beef, make sure there are no big pieces. Make sure they are small pieces, okay? Um, so some of you said for creating balance of layers and textures, having a good mix, making sure everything is even Stevens, um, everything like that, uh, okay. Ooh, this is a good one. How do you customize? Think about lasagna, you're making lasagna. How would you customize lasagna? to suit your personal taste. What ingredients or flavors would you add or change? Think, think about it that way. Lots of cheese, nice. Think about your taste, what would you do? No video, please. Which we're putting in Oh, nice spinach. Interesting. That's a good idea. Get your veggies. Mush. Oh, because you're vegetarian. Nice. Very cool. Just, ooh, some chopped up tomatoes. Lots and lots and lots of cheese. Absolutely. What is lasagna without cheese? Interesting. And then some of you, more vegetables for diet. Yeah. I, I highly suggest doing bell peppers, the paprika, um, doing bell peppers, onions, white onions, not red onions, white onions. Um, some people in their marinara will put carrots, just very thin, very, very small pieces of carrots. Put some kimchi. Interesting. I would love to see a kimchi lasagna. 
some goat, oh, red pepper, nice, which we can do today. Um, a lot of Italian food really likes red pepper. Now, again, for how many olives? This is with your heart. Are any of you allergic to tomatoes? I have a friend who's very allergic to tomatoes. Are any of you allergic? Have a tomato allergy? Oh, that's sad, yeah. She has to be very careful. So um, instead of, no video, please. No video, especially of your child. No video. This, this video will go on YouTube. So no videos of others uh, or yourself because we don't want, we don't want you guys to be harmed in any way. I wonder if the kids in Western don't like eating all, it's just eating Brussels. It's actually the other way around. <laughs> it's actually the other way around. Kid, some kids, I mean, some people don't like olives. I love olives. Um, but Brussels sprouts, ooh, no. Uh, a simple mistake. I know, it's totally a mistake. Or, okay, don't worry about it. It's smelling good. The garlic is getting all cooked up. The meat is good. Um, oh, I'm sorry if you felt like I was yelling at you. I'm sorry. I'm just being, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm being a little loud because the thing is cooking. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you felt like I was yelling at you. I really apologize. I'm sorry. Um, we're just trying to keep everyone safe and, they're, and also people don't like me on YouTube. So um, anyways, okay. And again, I apologize. I apologize for that. Um, okay, so we're going to start making our ricotta mixture. So we have our ricotta. Now, this is just a small one. I am making a smaller lasagna because it's just me and my husband. We are not, we don't, ooh, oops, we don't eat a whole lot. So, or we don't need a whole lot. So, um, but yeah, so we're still on the topic of how would you prepare lasagna to uh, suit your taste? So for anybody who just came in, how would you change lasagna to suit your taste? All right, and then we got an egg for our ricotta. This is gonna make everything stick together so that the cheese is not just running wild and then we got some parmesan cheese again you're gonna feel this with your heart and this is parmesan cheese from costco and then i like to put a little bit of dried parsley Let's do the bigger, bigger. <laughs> How many of you have had ricotta by itself? Just a spoonful of ricotta. Oh, I'm gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper. Can someone do me a big favor? And um, can you, can someone resend the PPT into the chat? All right, so I'm gonna show you the meat. You see everything's pretty much cooked. It's a teeny tiny bit pink, but that's fine. Thank you. That's fine because we are going to cook it in the tomato sauce and um, it's gonna cook the rest of the way. But as you can see, there are no really big pieces there like that. Okay, so I'm gonna turn that off for a minute. Let's go ahead and mix this up. Alrighty, this is not mixing very well. I highly suggest taking like cheese or if you use butter 
taking it out and letting it sit in the room temperature for a good, I don't know, hour. For a good hour so that it can be a lot easier to mix. <laughs> also, this is a little dry for me. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to go ahead and add a little bit of cream. Alrighty. Again, you feel that with your heart, it's better to do it a little bit at a time. I think I put too much at one time. So to do it a little bit at a time. All right, so, ooh, okay. Um, number six, when we prepare the tomato sauce, what other dishes do you think it could be used for in your cooking? So think about what you make. How else can you use tomato sauce? Thank you so much. So guys, in the chat is the PPT for the uh, lasagna. Um, for some reason, um, the program I'm using for this video is not showing the PPT correctly. So it is in the chat if you want it for later. Um, and real, and so yeah. Um, anyways, okay. Um, real quick, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture one more time of everyone who is in here. So I'm gonna turn that off real quick. All right, let me go ahead, everybody. Say cheese, just kidding, you don't have to say cheese. I'm just taking a quick, um, was it a quick screenshot just to show, for, just for attendance. And I'm gonna put that here. And then here, very good. We got a lot of people here today. Okay, perfect. Okay, going back to the question. All righty, so sounds yummy, maybe. So, okay, other type of pasta sauce, maybe Sicilian with eggplant. Oh, ooh. have you ever had eggplant Parmesan? Have you ever had eggplant Parmesan? Because, oh boy, it is delicious. Eggplant Parmesan is with a kaji, kaji, kaji. Kaji, is that in Korean? <laughs> Alrighty, so, cool. Nice, it's time to start cooking. That's right, yes. Yes, I remember. All right, it's time to start cooking. Woohoo! Let's go ahead and get this out. Oh no. I can do it. Yes, I'm strong. Hear me roar. Okay, um, guys, I'm going to go ahead and move the camera over to the stove. If it freezes, don't worry. It'll come back, okay? The wires can be finicky. All right, hold on. Hello, hello. Ooh. 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 Okay, I got to be strong. How's that? Perfect. And it didn't freeze. Oh my gosh. Good times. All righty. So now I'm going to turn back on the heat. All right. So now we have our marinara sauce. I'm, I'm not going to do too much or actually I'm going to do a lot <laughs> because we're going to cook the noodles on the inside. So got that there. Um, and then we do a little bit more and then we want some water because we're going to cook the noodles inside we're cooking the noodles inside so let me get some water i'm not putting too much and then from here if you want to add more italian seasonings like rosemary um basil oregano Time you can put it in now if you feel like your tomato sauce isn't flavorful enough. But again, I know that Rao is the best. All right, so what we're going to do first here is put in our lasagna noodles. Now, my again, it's just me and my husband, and I don't eat a lot, especially noodles, it makes me sad. But I remember I used tomato pesto when I make beef. Oh, yes. I like all of those words. 
<laughs> I like all of those words. Beef bourguignon. So good. What is that? Can you guys think of a Korean dish? What's a Korean dish that you would replace like the sauce or the cooking sauce, whatever, uh, with tomato sauce? Which one? All right, so I'm gonna put one in whole, but you can also just break. And break this up. Again, this is easy, easy lasagna. This is cheater's lasagna. We are cheating. We are not doing the layer upon layer upon layer. Um, I broke that last one because I just need space. All right, we want this to be as easy as possible. If you have people coming over, you want to cook for your family, and you want to make something different. I think we can try tomato sauce into tomato. Ooh, interesting. Chicken cold noodle soup. I've never had cold Korean noodle soup. Interesting. I can't imagine that because my favorite Korean noodle soup is, or my favorite Korean soup is um, dakedang. I love dakedang. What are some other ones? I'm trying to think. Um, what would I put it in? I don't know why, but kimchi jim keeps coming to my mind, but I don't think tomato sauce and kimchi jim would work. So. <laughs> all righty that's pretty much done you see how i have them all to the top but they are covered they are covered you'll be a lovely comment mm, korean style pizza Ooh, yes we call that fusion fusion now i'm covering that up um on the directions it says to cook i think 13 minutes it says pre-cook for four minutes, but we're not, this is not pre-cooking. All right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Korean style pizza or bulgogi pizza. Um, the fusion. Sorry, I'm gonna turn it back over here because if you see in the PPT, we have a bonus food. Ooh, excuse me. Excuse, that's my computer. There we go. We got a bonus food going on because in America, we don't just like eating pasta dishes by itself. We like, here I am. <laughs> we, <laughs> we must have garlic bread. So if you look on the P PPT, I have garlic bread for you right there. So let's get started. All right, I'm gonna need another bowl. Now this this gar this butter has been sitting out for about um, an hour. Um, it's been sitting out for about an hour so that it can be soft. We want softened butter. Uh, so yeah, okay. Um, oh, let's look at number seven. I like what you guys. I, I'm curious what you guys would think. How does the choice of cheese impact the taste and texture of the lasagna? All right. So here we have Parmesan and shredded cheese. How do you think it will change the texture? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up into smaller pieces. This is a little dangerous, please be careful. Alrighty. So how does cheese or the type of cheese impact the dish? Excuse me, I have to get a fork. Hold on. I'm not gonna lie, I just moved to this house not too long ago. So still trying to figure out where everything is. Aged cheese, yes. Have you ever had the aged cheddar from Costco? Savor your own, oh, yes. The aged Costco from or the aged Costco, the aged cheddar from Costco is stellar, but it is strong. It is a very strong taste. What about everyone else? All right, remember, this is why you want butter to be soft. You wanna set it out or have it be on the kitchen counter 
for like an hour or two so then it can get nice and soft or you can just put it in the microwave you've never tried each cheddar cheese Ooh, it is good but it's only eat a little at a time and make sure that you have it with some other food because it is very strong like with some ham a little bit of meat um it is very strong all right i'm gonna go ahead and mash up not mash up mince some garlic now i do four but this is to your heart's content how much um for the garlic not the garlic the butter i think i did about I put six tablespoons. So if you read, th this is Costco butter. It's salted. Um, do not do the sweet. The sweet cream butter, the blue butter from Costco, don't do it. Um, and use real butter. Real butter. Salted, unsalted. Yeah, I did about six tablespoons of butter. I'm going to do four garlics. Four, sorry, four cloves. This is a clove. A clove of garlic. Um, and again, I'm gonna smash these open. I'm gonna use a cutting board because I don't wanna cut my hand with the knife. You see many chefs using the knife to hit it open. That's too dangerous for me, I'm too scared. It will make a good toasty, I think so. I think so. Can you explain what a toasty is to those who might not know? Isn't that an Australian word? Since Australian or British? It's in America. We don't really call them toasties. Anyway, so what about everyone else? Cheese. We have some aged cheddar. Um, what are your favorite cheeses? My favorite cheese will always be a Colby Jack, which is a mix between um, like orange cheddar cheese and mozzarella. We bought a piece of Gouda yesterday. Ooh, yum. There was a cake and bakery fair. What? I want to go. Yeah, the food that usually served in Australia is toasted sandwich with cheese. Oh, interesting. Okay. So it's like Isaac Toast, but Australia. Yeah, we just call that a, sand a toasted sandwich. And put this right into the bowl. Oh, I said four garlic. I guess I'm doing three. Um, also, for the um, meat sauce that's going on right now, please, at some point, stir it, which I will do now. Stir, stir it. Oh, that's hot. All righty. And then as you stir, you can see if the noodle is done, which let me show you, it is. You see how I can wiggle it around? It's done. So, and a lot of the water has been cooked down. I'll show you guys in just a second. All right, but anyways, so garlic, you put it here. Now, when you are cooking your lasagna, make sure you put it on like low heat. Hi there, please no video. Thank you. You crush and freeze a lot at once. This is true. This is true. All right, I'm gonna mix up this butter and this garlic. Now, if you do not have salted butter, go ahead and put salt in now. If you have salted butter like I do, you don't need more. If you like it really salty, put in more. It's to your, it's to your taste. Freeze a lot. Yeah. So me and my husband, we do have crushed, but there's just, there's just something about when it's just fresh, when it's just fresh and it's so good. Um, all right, let's look at the next one. All right. Discuss baking times and temperatures and times. How does your country's cuisine use baking as a cooking method? So this is really interesting because I know in Korea, ovens or a ho like houses having an oven, that's pretty new, isn't it? Within like the last 10, 
10 years. Cause when I, I came to Korea nine years ago and it wasn't really, ovens weren't a thing. I had to like search, I had to search for an oven. I didn't like that I had to search for an oven. <laughs> So oh, I have my bread here. I'm gonna go ahead and spread the garlic mixture on top. Now you can put dried parsley. I only do fresh parsley because I'm a snob. I'm a snob like that. I don't I only do fresh parsley. Um, <laughs> uh, um, because I just I think it tastes better. But if you don't care, do dried. To dried. I am going to sprinkle a little bit of parsley on top just be, just to get a little bit of parsley taste. Um, and so, uh, but yeah, so what about you guys? Have you guys incorporated baking into your daily or weekly cooking? For me, I like to bake, but I don't bake very often. All right. You do because your job? Oh, do you work in a bakery? You work in a bakery or at a restaurant? All right. And then from here, please, we have some parsley flakes. Make it fancy. And then if you want to make it even better, Put some Parmesan. You oil and stew and stir fry pasta. Nice. You baked sourdough today? What? That's a skill. Um, do you notice there is one thing missing <clears throat> from this garlic bread that they do in Korea, but not in America? What's what's missing? Please, someone. Yes, it's sugar. Do not put sugar. <laughs> I in America, garlic bread is salty. It is never, never, never sugar. It's supposed to be salt. Anyways, I'm not gonna put this in the oven right now because we don't have time, but 200 degrees Celsius or 180, 180 to 200, five minutes, done. This will be melted, it'll be golden, it'll be beautiful, all right? Okay, finishing up. Finishing up. Okay, I'm gonna turn you guys around again. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, good. Ah, it's frozen, it's okay, it'll come back. Don't worry, there you are. Okay, so going back. All right, we're gonna put in our olives. I kind of just threw them in here. <laughs> gonna just mix them around a little bit to make sure it's all even. Again, if you want to put onions, if you want to put whatever you want, onions, paprika, whatever. And now I'm going to put my cheese mix. Remember, this was ricotta, parmesan, parmesan, parmesan cheese, um, and an egg. And then I'm going to do my best to spread it around, just my best. Also, guys, when you are cooking this, please put it on low heat, low fire. Because it was too high, it kind of burned. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Not a big deal. Okay. Spread it out as best you can. And then, this has egg in it. Don't eat it. <laughs> Don't eat it. It has egg. And then, I'm going to put my sacrilegious... Again, please don't tell your Italian boyfriend, but I'm gonna put the Costco cheese. <laughs> but yeah, Korean, Korean garlic bread is sweet and it makes me crazy. The very first time I had it, I was really excited. I just come to Korea and I was like, ooh, garlic bread. Yes, I'm gonna get garlic bread. And I took a big old bite. I was very mad. I was very mad. <laughs> I was very mad. Guys, this is like this because I accidentally left it out. <laughs> it, 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 it just came together. So 
<laughs> it's not very crumbly. It's not very shredded. But that's okay. We're putting cheese upon cheese upon cheese. Cheese upon cheese upon cheese. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and cover it back up and put it in there for five, about just another five minutes. So, yeah. Um, so, okay. So I want to do a question I skipped early. Um, Ooh, okay. So while we wait for the lasagna, it says to bake, but to cook, actually, this is not what I thought of your lasagna. <laughs> That's why it's cheaters. It's cheating lasagna. Absolutely cheating. Again, we're doing comfort food that makes us happy quick. <laughs> this is the quick way. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to wash my hands because they are greasy from the cheese. Hold on. All righty, so that's cooking. You understand that now? I am gonna turn it just a little bit more. The ricotta does have eggs, so we really gotta make sure that it cooks. Okay, so um, so does Korea have its own pasta dishes? This is what I'm curious about, because I know that there is, what's it called? <sighs> Guksu, that's right, Guksu. I'm gonna eat some olives while we wait. <laughs> we have guksu. What else? Sujb. Oh my gosh. Sujb is fantastic. Love Sujb. You know, was it in English? We actually call that a rice dumpling, not mandu dumpling, but like there is an American soup. It's called chicken and dumplings. It's chicken soup with just you get a piece or you get flour and you don't, you just throw it in. You just throw in like flour and water, mix it into a ball of flour, just throw it in. We call that a dumpling. So um, Sujay B, we call it like Korean rice dumplings. Uchinge? What's Uchinge? Is that, what is that? Please explain that to me. I don't think I'm from, Pan fried cake. Ah, okay. <clears throat> fried cake. Um, would that be considered a, like a pasta dish? Maybe. Jung kalguksu in my region. Kalguksu gochu. Ooh, yum. I love that. Sorry. I'm just snacking away on my olives. Huh. Okay. Let's check it. Looking a little melty, looking at me, probably like one more minute, but guys, no worries, I do the same. <laughs> um, guys, this is done. After this, you throw it on your plate, put some more Parmesan cheese on top and eat it up. In America, we'll eat it with a salad and the garlic bread. So you have garlic bread, a sal a little bit of a salad and our cheaters lasagna. You're good to go. Everything is delicious. And please, please get that garlic bread and Dip it, dip it into that lasagna and eat it up. But yeah, here you go. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna get a little bowl. It's right here, excuse me, excuse my arm. All righty, so I'm gonna get this little piece right here. Turn off, turn off the fire. And bam. That is it. Any questions? This, and this is our cheaters, our cheaters lasagna, yay. <laughs> Alrighty, that's it for today. Um, If you have any questions, I will stay on video for a couple more minutes. If you don't, I hope you had fun. I hope you learned about American food. And to anybody who did show their video and I was like sticklers with them, I'm so sorry. You guys were supposed to be told beforehand to not show your video or not to show your um, camera for the Zoom videos. If you were not reminded, I am so, I'm so, so sorry. Um, 
I just want you guys to be safe. And I don't want you guys to be on YouTube if you didn't want to be on YouTube. So I'm so sorry again if I came off as a stickler, a little mean, or as someone said that I was yelling. And I really do apologize for that. Okay. So, but yeah, other than that, we're done. If you have questions, please ask. Bon appetit. Or if you're funny, bone apple teeth. Bone apple tree. Um, enjoy. If you make it, send me a picture. Send me an email with a picture. I would love to see what you make. All right. But thank you so much. Have a wonderful Saturday. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. I'll stay on video for a couple minutes so you can ask me questions. So yeah. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend as well. I'm gonna get me a spoon. Goodbye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Thank you, thank you. Does anybody else have any questions? Enjoy your lasagna, enjoy your day. Anybody else who's here, please, if you have any questions. I would love to answer your questions. Oh, this is good. This is really good. This is healing. This is healing. Healing lasagna right here. You're going to Costco now? Do it. Get the artichokes. There's artichoke in oil. Get it. They're amazing. They're amazing, amazing. If you want, I can go grab mine. I can show you real fast. Let me know if you're still here, if you didn't leave. <laughs> but yeah, the artichokes, please. Oh, that roused tomato sauce. Okay, thanks. Yeah, no problem. Do you want me to go get it? I can go grab mine. <laughs> I can grab it real fast. I'll go for it. I'll go grab it. <laughs> These <laughs> artichoke hearts in oil. They're amazing. And at Costco. Alrighty. I'm going to stay on for about one more minute. Yeah. Artichokes go great with everything. You know how I said for an appetizer, if you do olive pickle and the artichokes and in salad, oh, you just get those salad, cut them up into smaller pieces, put them in your salad. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Amazing. Thanks for participating, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to stay online for one more minute. Alrighty, that is one minute. I'm going to head out. I hope you all have a wonderful Saturday. See you next time.